Hi there, welcome to MatthewReadCoaching.com. Hey, listen, over the next couple of videos, I want to talk to you a little bit about how to use the beginning and the end of your day to really maximize your usage of time. I know that when people are coming to me, one of the big obstacles that comes up is um, that there's just not enough time to get everything done that they need to get done. If you use that 30 minutes that occurs the first 15 minutes and the last 15 minutes of the day, effectively though, you're going to find that the, t the gap in between is going to be multiplied and maximized so much that you can really propel the projects and events that you want forward. So the first thing you do, and the first thing that I do is I kind of begin my day is take something, take fi the, the, as part of the first 15 minutes, is take some time to read something inspirational and to pray. Uh, for me, I read the scripture as a follower of Jesus. I read the scriptures every morning. I have a Bible reading plan that I follow, and I take just a few minutes to pray. Now, this isn't like a whole big 45-minute or an hour-long study time. No, this is a few minutes to read just a chapter or two of scripture and to pray and ask God for inspiration and wisdom and skill in making my day as powerful as possible. The second thing is go over your calendar. Yeah, take a minute and just go over everything that's going to be happening that day. Just give it a quick once over for a couple of reasons. First of all, so you don't accidentally forget something that's coming up later in the day. Um, just to give it a once over and make sure you've got everything that's coming up. And secondly, to see if there's things that can be moved around for maximum impact. Um, if you've got a couple of creative projects, you want to stack those together so you're not flowing in and out of creative things and doing something creative and something administrative and something creative again. Let your creativity just flow by putting those things together when you can. The, second, the third thing is get out everything you're in need for the day. As I look at my calendar and I see what my client appointments are that day, I go ahead and get their files out at the beginning of the day and I have them right here on my desk. So when I have that client call later on the day, I've just got it right there. I don't have to go scrambling around looking for it. So t get out everything you're going to need. If you, um, there's books you're, I know if I have books that I'm referring to during the day, I'm going to get the, have those at quick, quickly at my disposal. The last thing, the fourth thing I want to share with you is this idea of creating a margin. And here's how you do that. Be really truthful when it comes to the amount of time you think a project is going to require. If you think a project is going to take an hour of your day, go ahead and give yourself 90 minutes. If you think a project is a 15-minute project, go ahead and give yourself 30 minutes to do it. One of the reasons you want to do this is just to make it so you can't actually get all the things you want to get done during that day. People dramatically underestimate the amount of time that a project will require. And because of that, they find themselves always scrambling, always trying to play catch up for that next thing that's out there. So I want to encourage you. Here's how the best way to use your first 15 minutes. Read something inspirational and pray. Secondly, go over that day's calendar. Third, get out everything you need for the day. And fourth, create a margin. As you're building those blocks of time in your calendar, give yourself even extra time to get those tasks done. One of the things that really helped me in managing my time most effectively was partnering with a coach. I'd love to help you with that. So do me a favor, check out the life coaching page just above us here on Matthew Reed Coaching, and you can take a look at that, all right? Thanks for coming by the website.